you know, there's some things that I've been quiet about for for a while now, and there's some things that I've been quiet about for the last few days. You see, after after new beginnings, I had a talk with E.T., and it really opened my eyes. It kind of reinstilled my confidence, reinstilled my passion for this, for backyard wrestling. The Logan Price that walked into New Beginnings and the Logan Price that walked out of New Beginnings is two completely different people. After my talk with E.T., I realized something. Friendships come and go. Partnerships come and go. Brotherhoods are forever. You know what else is forever? Logan fucking Price. And Logan Price as the Valor Champion is forever. Why? Because there's not a damn person on this roster. Hell, there's not a damn person on this fucking planet that can take this title from me. Rich Thunderwood is going to try at Anarchy if he shows up. He will fail. He will fail like the rest have failed. There's only a select few that haven't challenged me for this championship. And I know why they haven't challenged me for this championship. Because they're fucking smart. They know they can't beat me when this title is on the line. When this title is on the line, I have proved that nobody is fucking better than me. You know, you know what sickens me? What sickens me is the fact that Clay Mercer won the United States Heavyweight Championship at finish line. At finish line. He gets a new championship belt. He gets a new title designed in honor of him winning the title. Where's my new fucking championship? Where's my new title? I have carried this division on my back for almost six months. Where's my title? Where's my honor? Where's my respect? For keeping this damn company relevant. Where is my respect? That I'm owed. I am the Valor Champion. The longest reigning Valor Champion and counting. Like I said, there's not a damn person, man or woman, or wannabe man, who can take this title from me. No one on a TBW roster, MEBW roster, WAW roster, JNA roster, EBW roster. There's nobody on those rosters that can take this title from me because when, like I said, when this title is on the line, I fight like my life is on the line because there's no one better than me. When it comes to talking about the Valor Championship. I've beaten Dustin. I've beaten Hunter. I've beaten Mikey. I've beaten Will. I've beaten Nicole. If John stepped to this championship, I'd make him a fucking afterthought. Why? Because I've beaten John numerous, numerous times. Clay Mercer, you may be the United States Heavyweight Championship, but if you were to ever step to me and challenge me for this Valor Championship, you would not. And I repeat, you would not 
walk out the same you as you walked in. And it, you damn sure would not be walking out as the Valor Champion. Let it be known to what I do to Rich Thunderwood or El Diablo at Anarchy be a lesson. And then maybe then, maybe then, I'll get the respect that I'm due. Two thousand twenty one. The only respect that I've seen that I've ever been given is from ET, is from Mikey, is from Mercer, and from the Midwest Mafia. Don't don't get it wrong. My Oblivion boys have always respected me, but the Midwest Mafia is taking over. Ladies and gentlemen, follow the Black Bible and watch out because the Mafia is going to reign supreme. Maybe maybe the Midwest Mafia will get me a new championship since SVBW doesn't want to. I mean, you can say, Logan, you're on management. Buy yourself a championship. No, 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 no. I don't want to buy myself the championship. Why? Because the company should realize where the money's at. If everybody bets against me, they're out of money. When the Valor Championship is on the line, you want to bet for Logan Price. Because you can bet your ass that I'm walking out as the Valor Champion. So maybe, maybe, just maybe, after I get the respect I'm due, maybe they'll make a championship in my honor. Remember. Remember whose yard it is. Because E.T. damn sure reminded me that Logan Price runs this yard. Beware the how. Because in 2021, the wolf isn't fucking far behind.